Hello, so it is me, Poet Spice Biblio Color Scribe. <laughs> I had that color in here since I'm going to put my coloring stuff on this channel, as well as writing and journaling. Yes. So I got in another round of coloring books, and I'm expecting like another two or three rounds. So, oh my gosh, can't believe it. But so my coloring collection went from six. Of, you know the fancy adult coloring books to um yeah a lot <laughs> not nearly as many as some other people have and I have to try to control myself even though it doesn't look like it because I get obsessive with stuff and then it's just like oh my gosh I need to have this 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 this, this. and next thing you know I spent like two thousand dollars and I'm like okay and then when do I use this stuff um not as quickly as I should <laughs> But it is what it is, isn't it? That's how that's how we go. So let's start in with what came this week. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I'm not real big on Halloween, and if anybody knows me from my other channel, I know this is kind of weird, but I I like gothic and steampunk, but I'm not real big on like cutesy Halloween or Halloween in and of itself I do like Dios de los Muertos I don't know it's just weird but anyway I saw the, and I can't remember whose channel I saw what on because I have watched so many coloring book channels recently that it's just like uh that's all I've done all spring break <laughs> like hours on end so I got this one it's a grayscale coloring book called Halloween and all of these are on Amazon so if I can remember I'll go back and put all the links although I'm pretty sure everybody else has them but I will try to go back and put the links on um they might not get all there at one time but I'll try so on the back here you see the pieces that they have and it's artworks by Alina Okay, are we going to focus? Alina Lazareva. And so let's go through. And I'm just going to flip through. And you'll have to forgive my desk because I am a crafter as well. Which means my crap is everywhere on my desk. So if you want to see a full flip through. And I'll end up doing a flip through of the ones that I like the most. So we'll just... I'll just let's say that so Halloween and then here's the grayscale and this will be my first grayscale book so I like this and what I have noticed looking at all these people's channels and so see like I love that book love this picture um that I have noticed uh looking at several colors videos and so forth I have noticed that when it comes to grayscale I like the illustrations versus the ones that look like real photographs i'm like what's the point of coloring that <laughs> and that's just me so i am and these must be extra pieces mm -hmm. so yeah it tells you where they're from they're from an extra book so in this book you actually get two sets of images so you get these and then in the end those were the most other line work pieces were those were extras to show you stuff out of other books so this would be the sweet dreams line work and I heard somebody say, I don't know, that sometimes they have line work as well as these, but I don't know. Um, I'm not that familiar with all of these yet. So this was another Halloween grayscale by the same person, I want to say. I can't tell. You would think they'd have it out there more. And so love, I was loving some of these living for them it's like yes uh, and of course you know I like that one because that's got steampunk and fall and a kitty <laughs> I usually don't like clowns but this one reminds me of a harlequin a little bit so this one's not too bad that was kind of cool and you guys know I do not like kids for the most part so this I would never color for, for real, but I'll probably use this as like a test page. And then this little lady is hilarious. Her hat is fabulous. I love that. So there you go. And this one too has double the double images. And that means somewhere in here, there's extras, I think. Set of pages begins. Maybe there's not. Nope. So that's cute and it's called Magic Autumn. So those are the two that I got that were specifically quote unquote Halloween based. Then I got 
I actually got four of these, but the other one hasn't come yet. So these are all, I'm not even going to try to say her name. And she has these 50 blanks. So this is 50 summer miniatures. And I bought the summer, the autumn, the spring, and the winter one. The winter one's the one that's not here yet. It should be here today, though, I think. So these I thought were just adorable because sometimes I really like well always I like intricate pieces if you guys know because you see my stuff that I draw and it's intricate but sometimes it's just really cute to have like cute adorable images as you know so if you've not been on my craft channel you can see like I like coloring little adorable sweet images as well on cards and stamped images and so forth so I thought these looked cute and they looked detailed enough for me not to be like bored. Now I will say this paper is not very thick. It's almost like copy paper. So I don't know. What I did want to do is I want to try it with my crayons, like actual Crayola crayons. Okay, so hopefully you can see. Can you see? Make sure it's clear for you. So we've got these images. Like, look how cute is that but see it's still got detail now it's no not a Joanna Basford detail or anything like that but see that is so cute and you could use color you know you could use crayons on that the good thing too is about it, that it is single-sided which means like um, you could use uh, this is still a little thin for alcohol markers but you still could use them if you put plenty of paper or plastic between your pages but look at see look how detailed those are like that's simple but look at the cat so adorable so i haven't even flipped through these all the way but i will flip through them and then you know i like houses so it's like what that's so adorable oh my gosh okay so then here's this 50 autumn one and like I said before oh that was in a previous video but fall is my favorite season although summer break is over so that means you gotta go back to work but I do like that and so it's a really cute like detail but not so much that you can't just like have fun coloring it and look at these little rabbits like how cute is that oh my gosh now what would I do with them when I get them colored I don't know because uh, you know Sometimes I do different things, wacky things, but you never know. And then I guess if I really, really wanted to do them with thicker paper, I could just go ahead and scan it and then print it out on paper like, like that. So, so cute. And like I said, I still have to take time and go through these because I watch the flip throughs from other people, but it's different when it's in your hands, your hot hands. <laughs> I don't know. Does anybody else get as excited about craft supplies and coloring and stuff? I don't know. I mean, you have Cope. Well, I only have like four Copics, but you know, I love my Ahuhu and I love my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers and my Spectrum Noir everything else, marker, pencil, whatever. But you know, some things are just so simple and awesome. When I got my caddy that has all the Crayola crayons in it and it spins, oh my gosh, it was like, <laughs> And then, you know, I got it on a discount, like 40% off. I was like, oh, yes. And then I had 10% off of that. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is beautiful. So, I don't know. And I saw somebody color this. And it was really cute how they colored it. So, anyway, there's your spring one. I'm just rambling. And then the other one should come today, later on. I'm supposed to, today is what, Friday? So, I should have an order today. I should have an order Saturday. I should have an order Sunday. I should have one next one. <laughs> I told you I went a little overboard. Steampunk. Yes. And I thought this was fun. Now this has those black out on the back so that you're supposed to be able to use different stuff and not have to worry about it bleeding through. So we shall see how that works. Let you know. These are the extra ones. So this one's from Mermaid Life. Dragon Life. Dragon Life coloring book. I did order um, Color It's Dragon book. Now I know most people are like, we've already seen these. It's like, yes, but everybody's new. There's always new people like me. Now, like I said, I've been coloring forever, but look at these old monkeys. These steampunk monkeys crack me up. And then this is the cover one. So 
yeah I'll go faster but I like this one because it has detail but not nearly as much as some of the other ones now that's highly detailed but so steampunk then I had to get the other mythographic so I still have one more coming um, I did not get Odyssey because I did not no I did not get Paradise because I was not as thrilled with that one I did get Odyssey but Frozen Fantasies I was like nah nah then I was like yes yes because I saw other people's colorings and I'm like okay I like that they have the answers to the back and I absolutely love the hide and you know the what do they call it search and finds so and it has blue all over it so you know that was like swaying me one way or the other but as you can see it's detailed there's a Christmas one and since it's got like a snow theme a lot of these you could just straight up use for I, mean, I can't remember what this fox is called it's an Asian thing um Oh my gosh, they had it. Oh, I can't remember what that fox is called. I have to look it up. But look at that. And a house made of books. Lord Jesus. Yes. Now, the other thing that they have in here is a bunch of these crystals. And so if you did not want to go Christmas, you could color them in different things. And then like, you'd have to do something different with these, these uh, snowflakes. But you could easily turn those into flowers. And then, so, yeah, I haven't gone through this one all the way either, like in person. But see, you can find these little things in here. And that's, I love that. I always have loved that as a little kid. So there's the little VW bug. All right, come on. There we go. So there's a v VW bug. There's whatever that's supposed to be. There's a rattle or a lollipop. Music notes. Uh, <laughs> looks like a fish pin knife or something. Electrical cord. Scissors. I love that. Um, and if you don't want them to stand out, just you can just color them so that they blend into whatever. So if you colored this in the same greens and whatever you colored there, it wouldn't really stand out as much. So, once again... I'm loving this page. Oh my gosh. So there you go. Okay. Two more. So this last time I got nine. This time I got nine. Today I think there's nine coming. I have, this says Rhapsody in the Forest. And it has this, uh, crafters would kind of know. It's almost like the feel of craft paper. It's a little bit rougher, but it's almost that feel. And then flips out and has your cover. And this definitely feels like craft paper. Um, K R A F T. And then you have these beautiful images here. And this kind of combined my love of like naturey stuff with detail in the font. So you've got these like little color things in the back. And then you have these pictures. Like, look at that. Seriously, oh, look at that. That's a lot of detail. And yet, it's not. So if you look at this, that's a whole lot of coloring on this page, right? But at the same time, you have these large spaces. So number one, you could use bigger mediums. And number two, it wouldn't take as long to cover them. And if you wanted to, you could put like a base layer of color and then go in with detail instead of like, Whereas some of these things you probably do need all that detail. And it's tiny. Like, see, I would never color this. So that means that this page here, I could use alcohol markers with. Because I'm not going to color that. And same with this. So I could color, I could end up coloring this one. But not the back of it. So those two, easy to use alcohol markers with. And probably same here. Now another idea I had too was for these pages where you don't really care about them, um, could color them and then cut them out. So for example, like the sewing stuff is cute. So if I just wanted to take that and color it and put it on something else, that would be cute. So look at that. So once again, lots of detail. I'm hoping this is showing up. 
but not at the same time, right? Like this house really doesn't have a lot of detail, but yet there's a lot of things to color on the page. So this was like a happy medium. When I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Because this was like that happy medium of detail, but whimsical, and at the same time, not really a lot of detail. Now here's this thing, I don't know what that's about. I guess it's some kind of receipt or something. But anyway, look at that, so cute, so cute, so cute. Now I probably will do a flip through of this because I have not seen as many flip throughs of that. I only saw a few. Then there is this one, which is the next book. And maybe this is newer because it has this um, cover on it. Now, anybody who's watching from, you'll have to let me know if you prefer longer or shorter videos. I have noticed that a lot of the coloring videos in the coloring community are actually pretty long, definitely in comparison to crafting videos. So, which is fine with me. I just would like to know what people prefer. So you can leave that in the comments below. Also, if you're watching this, do like and subscribe and share. You can also leave me some suggestions on people who do color loans or anything else that you think I should know or participate in, since I am fairly new to this whole actual coloring part community versus just coloring on my own. So here we have this one. Oh, you've got this cute little thing. I might put this in my journal because that's cute. And then you have, this one is uh, something. <laughs> I think that's French. And I don't know if this, I don't know what that is. I can't remember Japan or I can't remember where this came from. Let's see. Because I don't read that, obviously. So then it has this cool, it reminds me of Beatrix Potter, but I'm not really a Beatrix Potter fan. So it's kind of like I like it more. And I know some people will be like, oh, sacrilege. <laughs> but it is what it is. That's why there are different things for different people. So this is really cute. Look at that. Yay. So once again, like it's that balance between detailed and not. So I could probably, if I sat down and I could probably color this relatively quickly versus a page in mythographic where it would take forever so it's double-sided look at that little charles dickens looking <laughs> it actually looks a dot like a die set i have it's so funny and then a little cat in a kimono so so cute so very cute, very detailed, very in the middle of the road. And for me, anyway, in the middle of the road, like this. I know some people would never color this because of all the jars and stuff, but I like detail. So I could sit there for hours and just be like, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, there we go for that one. So that's all I have for you today. After I've rambled on about all the loveliness and wonderfulness and stuff that I have in my stash now. Look at this. Look at this gorgeousness. Oh my gosh, so fun. And I actually started a picture. Because sometimes I buy stuff and then I'm like, oh, I haven't started anything. So I started a picture yesterday in this cute and creepy. I didn't finish it, but I started it. Look how cool is that? Now I'm looking at it. Eh. Because it was kind of dark when I was doing it. So now I'm looking at it and it's not as smooth as I would like it to be. But you know what? I still like it because butterflies aren't exactly perfectly smooth. So there it is. And I was trying my Star Joy pencils. So I like really how the bottom part blended. And then I'll have to see what's going on with this. <laughs> I'm so rough with my stuff. It's ridiculous. And so that's what I end up doing a lot is just using my pen or pencil. So I did start one. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm going to quit rambling now and I shall see you guys later in another video. Like, subscribe, share, and I shall see you guys later. Be safe.